To use the VHS to DVD software, you will need to connect your VCR or other video player to your computer. For this video, we will be connecting a VCR using the four items pictured here. A common VCR shown in the background, standard composite video or audio cables on the left with yellow, red, and white connectors, and two items on the right that should have been included with your deluxe software, the black and white vid box and the standard to mini USB cable in front. Depending on your software version, you may have already been prompted to connect your VidBox capture device to your computer. In either case, to do that, simply connect the small end of your USB cable into the mini USB port on the VidBox, like so. Then, take the standard size end of the USB cable and plug it into a port marked USB 2.0 on your computer. It is important that the cable is connected directly to your computer and into a USB 2.0 port. When connecting your VCR, locate the video and audio output ports, which are usually found on the back. You will want to make sure the ports are labeled output or out, as seen on this VCR. Connect your composite cables to the corresponding colored ports, yellow for video, white for audio, and red for audio as well. Some VCRs may have only one audio port. In that case, connect only one audio cable and leave the other one free. Take the other ends of your composite cables and connect them to the vid box, making sure to match each colored cable to the same colored port on the vid box, red to red, white to white, and yellow to yellow. Once you have connected all of your cables, insert your VHS tape into your VCR. Verify it is playing by checking the display or press play if need be, and you should then see your video play on your computer inside the VHS to DVD program.